What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. For today I have one of the smallest laptops available on the market. I'm not sure if I can actually call this a laptop, it's more of a notebook. However, this is called the GPD Pocket and as the name suggests you can actually carry it in your pocket. So as small as this is, it's running a full copy of Windows 10. We have a full keyboard, well kind of. Um, we have a 7 inch screen that's also a touch screen and has a resolution of 1080p. For specifications we have the Intel Atom X7, this is the Z8750 which is a quad core CPU clocked at 1.6 GHz. We also have 4 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. So definitely not the most high-end CPU out there, but even like this you can still do a whole bunch of stuff with this. So you can browse the internet, you can watch Netflix, you can even play games and so on. So yes, this is very portable, very small, very light and you can basically take it to do anywhere. But that comes at a price and the price is around $500, so definitely not cheap. The entire laptop is made out of metal and it kind of looks and feels like a smaller MacBook. And of course it feels very premium as well, but again the price is kind of premium too. We even have a small mouse pointer or I'm not even sure how to call that. We used to see that um, about 10 years ago for a lot of um, laptops. Now it's not that easy to use because it's very close to those buttons so the left and the right click and um, whenever you're using it you kind of press um, both things in the same time. So definitely not the easiest thing to use. But since there is a touch screen you're not gonna use that uh, mouse pointer that much so it's much easier to actually touch the screen and do whatever um, you're doing with your finger. The keyboard feels great to type on and it kind of reminds me of the keyboard that I have on my MacBook Pro. Now unfortunately the keyboard is not big enough so you can actually use two hands but it's not small enough so you can only use one hand. So you're always in this awkward um, spot and you don't really know how to hold the laptop to actually type comfortably. So typing on this is gonna take you quite some time to learn. There is also a 7000 mAh battery inside this laptop and when I read the specs it said that it can go for about 12 hours on one charge but that um, doesn't work in reality. So in reality you're gonna get about 5 hours of usage on this like mixed usage, a bit of gaming, a bit of browsing, some uh, listening to music and so on. So definitely not 12 hours um, as they said in the specs there. For ports, well since this is so small we don't have that many ports. So we have a USB 3 port, we have the 3.5mm audio jack, um, a HDMI out and lastly a USB-C port. So you can charge this through the USB-C port which is great but in the same time you could get one of those USB-C dongles so like the ones that we've seen for MacBooks. And if you get one of those you can charge this while you have other stuff connected to the laptop which is great because it gives you way more options than just the ports that you actually have on the device. We also have Bluetooth connectivity and dual band Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi works great as long as you're close enough to your router. As soon as you go um, further away well the speeds kind of drop and it doesn't work as good. So the Wi-Fi range isn't the best that I've seen. The GPD Pocket also has a built-in microphone so you could use um, Cortana with your voice and we also have some built-in speakers. Now the speakers get quite loud but it really depends where you are and how much noise um, there is around you because if there is too much noise you're not gonna be able to hear what's happening on the laptop. And talking about noise, well this has a fan inside and uh, depending what you do with it that fan is gonna start to speed up. Like right now you can't really hear anything because there is nothing happening because this is not um, overheating. However if you start um, opening the browser, uh, start opening a couple of apps, well that fan is gonna start going. It doesn't sound too bad but um, it's definitely there so if you're in a very quiet room you're gonna hear um, that fan. Moving on to the 7 inch screen, so this is an IPS panel that has a resolution of 1080p and I have to say the screen looks very very good, I mean the viewing angles are great, the colors are nice and vibrant so no complaints about the screen, however I wish the screen would uh, get a bit brighter because if you actually go outside it's gonna be a bit difficult um, to see the laptop outside, so if the screen would get a bit brighter it would have been much much better. Moving on to performance, well this is gonna do good for most tasks, like day-to-day -day tasks. So for example checking your email, browsing the internet, watching a video, um, or listening to music um, or anything like that. I ran a couple of uh, benchmark tests and the scores that I got are somewhat lower um, than um, on other mini PCs that I tried with the um, Apollo Lake N3450, so somewhat lower. Even like this you can still play some games, I mean don't imagine you're gonna play some um, graphic intensive games but um, some games um, that you can download from the Windows Store those will work um, fine and uh, you can use Office without any issues but more than that well this is gonna struggle and it's gonna be quite slow. Of course you could always use this as a media center as well so you could connect this to a TV or a monitor or anything like that because we have that HDMI port. 
For example, Netflix works very, very good and the, that's the Netflix app that I actually downloaded uh, from the Windows Store. So no issues with Netflix um, at any point, so no buffering, nothing like that. For YouTube videos, it also works great, so no buffering, no lagging, nothing like that. And um, I even played a whole bunch of video files to see what works good and what doesn't. And most of the video files that I tried um, did work extremely good. So you could use it as a media center just because it's very portable and you can basically take it to do anywhere. And just in case you haven't noticed, there is no camera anywhere, so you're not going to be able to do any conference calling or anything like that that uh, requires a camera unless um, you actually buy an external camera for it. And I believe there would have been space on the sides here or something like that to actually include a camera. So as I said at the beginning, this is very small, very portable, but not that powerful in the same time kind of expensive because spending about 500 bucks on this, well, you could realistically just buy like a regular uh, laptop and uh, the chances are you will get somewhat better specs, somewhat, because uh, with under 500 bucks, you can't really get that much. Now, me personally, I've been using this for two months now and I actually use it every single day just because it's so small and I can basically keep it anywhere. I can take it to bed with me, I can put it on the table, I can put it on the kitchen counter and um, anything like that. And actually, a lot of the videos that um, you've seen on my channel have been uploaded um, by this. So for me, it's great, but I'm not sure if I would actually spend uh, $500. It really depends from person to person and what um, they plan on doing with this. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.